Hello friends, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today you can see I'm working on the other half of a two-page spread here. And that very first page that you see already completed, I do have a process video for that that I shared a couple of years ago. So I will go ahead and link that down below if you want to watch how that layout came together. And I'm going to use the already finished layout as the left hand side of my page and then I am creating the right page of the spread today and then these will sit just like this in the scrapbook album where they are facing each other and complete a story when put together. So you can see the photograph that I am documenting today goes along with all the other photographs in uh, the layout that is already completed and I'm just loving this theme. I grabbed a gorgeous orange floral patterned paper to use as my background and these layouts are eight and a half by 11 size which is US letter sized paper and I've been really loving creating in this size because it's so much smaller than the 12 by 12 they're really easy to complete the layouts it doesn't take a whole lot to finish the page. And I love that, but it is a whole lot of color going on on one page and a whole lot of pattern. And I really struggled to use pattern papers as my background, but I am accepting the challenge today and we will see how this turns out. I started off by choosing a couple of ephemera pieces. I absolutely love this collection from One Canoe Two, and it's got this gorgeous copper foil or rose gold foil. It says simple pleasures, and then there's another phrase there that says find joy in the ordinary. And this collection is so beautiful. It's autumn themed, but it's also slow living theme which I adore a lot. So it's from a few years ago and it's still one of my all time favorite collections that I've ever had or seen. To tone down the background page a little bit, I grabbed some modeling paste and a stencil and I did some white modeling paste behind where my photograph is going to be. And that was just to tone down the pattern in the background a little bit, add a little bit more white space there. And yeah, I think it does that. It also brings over texture from the other page on this two page spread. The other page has a tan background that you can see and that's actually all modeling paste on that background there. So lots of texture and I definitely wanted to bring that over to this page of the spread as well to kind of combine them and make sure they look like they go together. So I add the modeling paste. I also am using that same orange patterned paper for my background on this page as I used to back the love cut file on the left hand page there and just doing different things that I can to combine these two layouts together so that they really look like they belong which is pretty easy because I'm using a lot of the same overlapping collections here a lot of that one canoe two and then I think there's also some Jen Hadfield in there and maybe some Amy Tangerine florals as well lots of beautiful things I create a photo mat for my photograph there and I absolutely love it. You can see how I cut up different papers and different stickers to create a gorgeous layered messy photo mat. That's my favorite kind of photo mat and love how that looks. I also added a gorgeous copper or rose gold foil paper clip there to the upper right hand side of my photo mat and now I'm adding lots of stickers around the edges of my photograph here. Everything's looking so cute but it's not hard to do that when you're working with a gorgeous photograph and I adore donkeys. I absolutely adore them. I want one. I have wanted one for at least the past 10 years. I just think they're so cute and sweet and really, really love them. So this gorgeous photograph means a lot to me. And this was a donkey I got to spend some time with when we went out to a farm with a couple of my friends and we did our whole 
autumn festival stuff where we got our apple cider slushies and picked pumpkins and did the little petting zoo there. And I loved this little donkey that they had. So I'm adding lots of different stickers around the edges here. Also some die cuts for some texture. And I add this gorgeous title. It says happy day. And that's a gorgeous, uh, like a muted gold, shiny title. Really love that with the cursive font. It's so feminine and girly. I do really like that fine joy in the ordinary die cut. And I believe that makes it to the finished page. I'm also adding one of the die cut butterflies to this page, which is perfect. It's got like a gray background with some orange tips on its wings. And on the opposite page of this two page spread, I have an orange butterfly from the same collection. Uh, so I really like how I added the pop of orange over on the page that has a more neutral color background. And then on this page of the spread, I added the neutral butterfly onto a colorful background. I'm going to finish off this page by doing some journaling, just talking about donkeys and my love for donkeys and how I hope to have one one day and what this day and this moment meant to me. I love journaling. I just love being able to tell a story and look back at the story and understand why those photographs were important. And I think a lot of why I do memory keeping is because when I'm 80 years old and looking back at my life, I want to be able to see the things I did and remember them. And when you do that journaling, it really does help convey the story in an additional way that uh, the photograph uh, contributes to. But, you know, it's another facet of the story. And I really love the written word. So love that. And I added a couple of dimensional light pink heart stickers there and that finishes off the layout. I hope you've enjoyed watching this scrapbook layout process video with me, this gorgeous autumn themed layout. And I hope you are making the most of your autumn and documenting lots of memories for you to scrapbook later. If scrapbooking is something that brings you joy. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And again, I will link the other half of this two page spread down below if you want to see the process video for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel to see more scrapbooking stuff and I will catch you in the next video.